guys, it's Need for Thought. Today I will tell you how media and politicians lie about export and import. I can often read a lot of rubbish about economics basics, and the same is with the balance of trade. Whenever I hear that the most important for the country's trade is export, I'm wondering where they take this information from. Maybe they do it on purpose, maybe they are just uneducated, hard to say. I decided to clarify how it works. So, in simple words, import is when you buy something in another country and bring it to yours, and export is just the opposite. Okay, so what is more important? Frédéric Bastiat, the French political philosopher, explained this already in a very vivid and simple way. He responded to the words of one of the French politicians of his time, Mr. Baguel, who stated that France is losing a lot of money every year because of trade deficit, that France import more than export. So Bastiat said, I was at Bordeaux, I had a cask of wine which was worth 50 francs. I sent it to Liverpool, and the custom house noted in its records an export of 50 francs. At Liverpool, the wine was sold for 70 francs. My representative converted the 70 francs into coal, which was found to be worth 90 francs on the market in Bordeaux. The custom house hated to record an import of 90 francs. The balance of trade, or the excess of imports over exports, was 40 francs. These 40 francs I have always believed, putting my trust in my books, I had gained. But Mr. McGowan tells me that I have lost them and that France has lost them in my person. So, Bastiat is clearly showing the difference between thinking about export-import and revenue loss. If he earned 40 francs, how could that be a loss? He stayed earned rather than lost, because the number of goods increased. And Bastiat's second example is a described. I had some truffles shipped from Perigord, which cost me 100 francs. They were destined for two distinguished English cabinet ministers for a very high price, which I proposed to turn into pound sterling. Alas, I would have done better to eat them myself. I mean, the truffles, not the English pounds or the Tories. All would not have been lost, as they were, for the ship that carried them off sank on its departure. The customs officer, who had noted on this occasion an export of 100 francs, never had any re-import to enter in this case. Hence, Mr. Magan would say, France gained 100 francs, for it was in fact by this sun that the export, thanks to the shipwreck, exceeded the import. If the affair had turned out otherwise, if I had received two or three hundred francs worth of English pounds, then the balance of trade would have been unfavorable and France would have been the loser. I hope you enjoyed this animated video. Subscribe, share and comment. I will leave a link to Bastiat in the description. Thanks guys and stay tuned for more. Meet for thought.